Hello, you are welcome to my new video in my YouTube channel Civil Engineering. In this video, I will uh, talk about the lever arm and the moment of resistance in a beam. Uh, here, I will calculate neutral axis uh, and the lever arm, and finally, I will calculate the moment of resistance of this beam. Okay, let's start with our uh, finding lever arm is very important when you design a structural beam, and here I am going to find the lever arm of a beam when this is a beam in generally the part of the beam is under compression compression while the bottom part is under tension under tension and uh, generally we take compression as positive and tension as negative and uh, some of the tensile force act in the tensile zone and some of the compression forces act on the compression zone and uh, the compression zone is the zone which is above the neutral axis neutral axis is the point where there is no any compression or tension the lever arm is the distance between these two forces take it as x this x is the distance between the compression force and the tension force this compression force and the tension force must be equal to each other otherwise it may cause to collapse so uh, any other structure failures the sum of the forces must be equalized otherwise there must, be, there must be a failure there because of that these two forces and distance between those two forces there is a couple acting on the beam okay this is the neutral axis and this is the tension zone and this is the compression zone okay uh, in this video I will uh, tell you how to find the lever arm we can find the lever arm uh, by uh, following few steps our first step is to find the area of the steel we supply to the beam. Area of the steel. Area of the steel is equal to 3 into 5 into ten squared. This is the uh, supplying steel area. Okay, you can find it. 942. 0.4779 something I take it as this 942.5 area of this thing okay that's our first step our next step is to find the neutral axis distance of the neutral axis from the top of the beam uh, let's take it as x okay here we have to do assumption that uh, the reinforcement in this beam at the yield position yield status so because of that we take that force tensile force act on the beam at the yield status we take 0 0.87 into AX. Here, FI is the tensile strength of the reinforcement and the AS is the area of steel. Means tensile strength is the strength per unit area and we multiply it by area of the whole reinforcement and here this is 0 0.87 we use it as a safety factor as uh, here we assume that uh, reinfo reinforcement gives only 87 point of the of his uh, maximum strength here we have to assume reinforcement yield the tensile force reinforcement has yielded is 0 0.87 into fy into as here 0 0.87 Fy is 460 and uh, area is 
The answer is B77 is 460 is the yellow distance of the reinforcement. Okay. Then as I explained earlier, the tensile force is equal to the compression force acting on the B. So here this uh, compression is in this compression zone. Concrete is the material which is caused to withstand for compression and uh, in uh, BS8110 part 1 uh, in figure 3.3 uh, you can see that uh, that compression zone is acting on it, it has 0.9x here means the uh, distance to neural axis you can see that figure here this is the figure figure uh, 3.3 you can see that chart according to that I take uh, 0 0.9 x as the length with responsible for the compression zone compression for, uh, force is also equal to 377188.5 we take 0 0.45 see 0.45 means uh, only 45% of the concrete strength is taken here uh, to, for calculation, it's for safety. This is the strength of the concrete. Take it as 25 Newton per square millimeter. And here we take only 45% of the concrete strength for this calculation. And uh, as this one is the uh, strength for unit area, we have to take this whole area that is b into 0.9 x here b means the breadth of the b or the width of the width of the b okay let's substitute the values to that equation here this is the x x means the distance to the neural axis this one we take 0.9 x for the compression zone Okay, let's subject x and the answer is we take FCU as sorry, it's not the y, it is FCU FCU as 25 and the depth is 225 here 165.6 yeah, it's millimeter then now we know the depth of the neutral axis here now we have to find the now we have to find the lever arm of the b for that first we have to identify d here it means effective depth before that we have to check the x over d ratio here it is to uh, clarify whether our assumption that uh, the, the reinforcement has been yielded is correct or wrong uh, by using this ratio we can measure it okay for that i have to divide that x into d how we can find d here d is the effective length the d for the effective length of the beam is 375 d is the distance between uh, from the top to the center of the of this reinforcement here here the nominal cover here is near 25 to 20 millimeters and here the reinforcement size is 20 millimeter and half of it 10 millimeter is also have been deducted near 30 to 35 millimeter below that effective depth line Okay, I take here 375 as the effective depth of the beam. Then the x over d ratio is 0 0.4416 is below that that 0 0.64. Our assumption is correct and that reinforcement has been yielded. This is step number two.
we can find the equation x equal d over z divided by 0 0.45 yeah, in the plus 3.4.4.4 in bs 8110 part 1 1985 code okay here d means the effective depth we know it 375 he said this is the liver arm and we have to find it because we know that uh, x or the neutral axis is 165.6 millimeters then we can find the liver arm here he said this is the liver arm here he said this is equal to d minus 0.45 X, X means the neutral axis. Okay, that's fine. 375 into 0.45 into 165.6. Okay, find the answer here. 300.08 millimeters. Liva is equal to 300. Point 5 millimeters. The distance between the compression force and the tension force is equal to the 300.5 millimeters. If we know the liver arm of a beam and the tensile force and the compression force, we can find the moment of resistance. If we know the tensile force and we know the compression force, and we know the distance between the two forces and that's called liver arm this value is 377188.5 newton and the liver arm is 300.5 millimeters so we can find the we can find the moment of resistance beam here that is That is one one three. We can convert it into kilonewton meter. This is the moment of resistance acting on the beam here. One thirteen point three five kilonewton meter. I think you can understand how we can find the moment of resistance here. And earlier I found the liver arm of the beam 2. Thank you. And we will see you again in our next video. Thank you.